What's going on everyone, Austin John plays here and today it's going to be time for the Nintendo Direct September 2023. I'm taking my advice from the last time that we did this and I'm actually watching this 15 minutes after it started. Why? Because if there's something you're not interested in, you can just fast forward a little bit. And I think that's going to be a super healthy way to actually watch a Nintendo Direct. All right, so we're starting with some Splatoon 3 stuff, a game that I purchased but never actually played. It's also weird that this whole thing doesn't have any in-game music. Oh, is this like a new Salmon Rush? Salmon Rush was the one thing that I enjoyed in two. A color chip into a palette? Do you get, do you get to change your colors? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. So is this a Salmon Run that you get to customize your colors and your, your level up sort of like an RPG system? Oh, it's an expansion pass, okay. Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. Comes out spring of next year. Oh! Is this the, uh, the, the, the old school, what, what's it called, like Mario's Mechs or something? The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. Oh, Mario versus Donkey Kong, and they're doing like it's it's fun little one-screen puzzles. Your success. This seems like a fun little puzzle game. Seems like a lot of fun. To puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. I love puzzle games, by the way. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch. Oh, and it comes out right around the time of the uh, the what I like to call the Valentine's Day Direct. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. If it's a game I'm not interested in, I'm just gonna hit fast forward a little bit. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Okay. Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Time your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. No, thank you. Anya Forger has a new assignment from school, creating a photo diary. That's awesome for her. Days, Mario's yes, RPG this is what I'm, this returns. is what I signed up for. The Super Mario RPG game is I love this game. Graphics. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Okay, new new features. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. Yep. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all oh. enemies at once. So now it's an all. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. Okay. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Three character Depending triple move. on your current party, the move will change, so experiment with different combos. Okay. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After oh clearing, man, they look so good. Fight some of them again. Rematch the bosses. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Okay. Dude just did 9,999 damage. The shiny stone is reacting. They still have the Final Super Fantasy Mario boss in there. The oh, so excited for this. It's just over two months from now. now e Pre-orders now. E no, I'm getting that physical. <sighs> I already know this is the not Nintendo something I want to play. Game, Trace memory returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. Yep. Oh, is this the, the Princess Peach game? A loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then... The Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. The Wicked Grape. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. Whoa, Peach transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. Okay, I'm just seeing this and I'm thinking to myself, Final Fantasy X-2, where it's the sequel after after everyone was done and then it was just the girls and then the girls are just going to like change costumes and fight things. Although I could definitely see like a, a, a very specific demographic for this being like young female gamers 
which there's not a lot of great games that specifically aim toward them. And if there are, they're usually not high quality games. So the fact that they're making this solid, solid play. Definitely not a game I ever want to play. March 22nd, a new saga begins. A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. No thanks. There are a lot of Square Enix games on the Switch now. The legendary Raider returns. Oh, they're doing Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 from the PS1? The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. I was very young when this game came out, and all I remember doing is going around the big house and messing with the butler, and then I would start the first level, which you start by sliding on something, and I would constantly get impaled by big, uh, uh, I guess, punji sticks, and then at the very end there were wolves and I died. And that's all of my memory of Tomb Raider 1. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any I was about to say, I was like, wait a second, people love like the whole polygon chest Lara Croft thing. Uh, good to know that that is still an option. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. I disliked the first Detective Pikachu game so much, I have zero interest in playing this game. Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Comes out October 6th. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Yeah, this and like available now Mystery Dungeon, e not my kind of games. This game's a real toot. Oh, I remember seeing this on one of the previous for the things. Rhythm game, trombone champ. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. That's kind of cool. The controls are pretty unique. And there's multiplayer. Oh man. This this looks like such an amazingly annoying game. Trombone it comes out today. Slide. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Knock your opponent's health down to zero. Looks like a fun MOBA. Contra. Oh, you know, I actually just started like rebooting up uh, the old NES and Super NES and N64 and Genesis apps. And I realized I've never played Contra. I know the Konami code. I just never input it into the game that it was designed for. It is a grievous tale which speaks of Feverth. One of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again, ring of legend lighting his path. And all that remains now is to walk it. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Mother. Am I looking at the middle? Am I looking at the sides? Freely traverse an expansive world. There is so much going on right here. New ally cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters. Atlas and Vanillaware present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. That looks really interesting. Available March 8th, 2024. That looks like something I might want to play. Oh, Luigi's Mansion 2. The 3DS game that some people have very fond memories of. I didn't play it, and I heard that the gameplay loop was annoying. Dark Moon? Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Oh, they lost the moniker of Dark Moon? I really enjoyed Luigi's Use Mansion 3 and 1, the classic. And, and it's like a fun little environment. puzzle game. Next summer. Next summer. I don't know why you're releasing a spooky game in summertime. Next, we have two announcements to share. Announcements are interesting. It's a question mark block. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo oh. Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. That's neat. Will be the Nintendo Museum. Oh, that's a neat. Of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. By the way, I loved Kyoto. Kyoto was well, like my favorite place out of all of Japan. Between visiting like the Bamboo Forest, Nishiki Market. Ah, uh, great time. Oh, I forgot about those. November 3rd. 
I forgot about Tears of the Kingdom in general. Okay, what about the last Smash Amiibo? And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. Yep, there it is. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Brothers. Sora. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. The final Amiibo. The With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate yep. in Amiibo form. Please it's been, the, my glass cabinet has been slowly filling up with all these figures. Oh, F-Zero? Is it gonna be a remake? A remaster? Brand new game? We're seeing that. The first F-Zero game. Returns as a 99 player battle oh. royale. F Zero. Okay. Race Was not expecting that. Courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. Hey. Listen for the people that are F Zero fans. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary. And played the original. Boost. They're probably going to love this. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Oh, those are some tight turns on that Skyway. That, and obviously, this is going to be free with NSO. And it's going to be replacing like Tetris 99 players, and stuff. One winner. It's time to race your way to first place. Because yep. F-099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members later today. today. This title also supports the Super NES oh. controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online. I forgot I have that. Okay. I really Let's hope that I can use that headline. controller for Super Mario RPG. One little hero, one Oh, I think problem. this is going to be the part that we're going to sort of fast forward through a lot of Welcome things here. Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called yep. Yordles. The Song of Nunu, a League of Legends no story, launches on the Nintendo... A new WarioWare. Like ah. Oh, is this the new Wario voice actor? Mario and Wario voice actor, because now Charles Martinet is retired. This to perform the correct action as quick as you can. That seems pretty cool. I've never played a WarioWare. It's always one of those games that I'm just like, huh, that seems like it'd be neat, and then I just never try it. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's okay. invasion. Team the Diver! I love Dave the Diver. Then serve them as sushi by night and the aquatic adventure, Dave the I've Diver. I have played a lot of Dave the Diver. It's a game that I've been playing on Steam, but I'm actually preferring using a controller. So unlike every other Steam game that I don't like playing on the Switch, this is going to feel really good on the Nintendo Switch. It's a fantastic game. Like, if you love... Hang on. No, no, no. We're pausing. If you love Stardew Valley, there's a good chance you love Dave the Diver and you don't the know it yet. The, Mario Kart the final wave! Booster course pass DLC from the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave 6. Diddy Kong! Mario Kart Double Dash game, Diddy Kong! From Mario oh, and Kart Funky Wii. Kong. Funky Kong. Pauline! Pauline. What's Peachette? I know what Bowsette is. I don't know what Peachette is. Waves drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Ever I recently started playing DLC Mario Kart 8 no Deluxe Expansion Pass. Some of those courses are really good, and some of them are just really, really hard. Like the Ninja us. course one? That's a fun one. It's a, one of the new courses. Is there an update to Among Us? The story of Among Us is so crazy. Crazy that they were working on the sequel, and then they canceled it because people started playing, you know, the original. Welcome to... The fungal. Oh, is this is this the rapid fire time? The teal mask. F099, Pikmin 1 and 2 physical version. Detective Pikachu returns. Oh, it's weird that they're actually just just rapid firing all the dates here at the bottom. But in chronological order, which is nice. Indigo Disc Winter 2023, which by the way is a two-week period. I also really like that because they just showed you all of the Nintendo published titles that are just constantly being released every month. Last announcement, what is it? Oh, I just got chills. My entire body just got chills. Thousand in your door? 
Oh no, original Mario RPG on the N64. Oh, okay. Thousand Year Door is eventually going to get remade. Eventually at some point. No, this is Thousand Year Door. This is the... You guys don't understand, this is my favorite video game ever made by Nintendo. Thousand Year Door is one of the best, simple, most charming RPGs ever made. For a second I thought it was the N64 one, but no, no, it's, it's the real deal. Oh, and oh, uh, the baby Yoshi? I had one point in my life that I would reset the game if I didn't get the color Yoshi that I wanted, which required going back a very far amount. Oh, uh, the new UI looks so nice and clean at the top. Okay, are there new badges? Are there new attacks? What about the Pit of 100 Trials? All of these things. Uh, Bowser had so much personality in this game too. Oh, and the creepy guy who curses you? Yep, okay. The, the, the very noir area that everyone gets turned into a pig. Rock the Hawk. Oh, I completely forgot about the, the side story of Peach being, you know, trapped on the moon. 2024, next year, it's happening. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Because there is currently, like, that's all for today's Nintendo no Direct. good way to play that game. There's Thank there's sort watching. of, like, a like a remake sort of, like, mod pack that someone was making online, but it's a pain to install and work with. Ah. Uh, no, this was fantastic. This was absolutely fantastic. Plus, being able to just fast forward to watch a Nintendo Direct like this, 10 out of 10 recommend. Uh, Thousand Your Door is coming? This is a fantastic era for Mario RPG fans. We have Mario RPG coming out this year, and then we have Thousand Your Door next year. And look at it, the game is done. They're just polishing it at this point. Bro, can you do a Danger Mario run in it? That's my question. All the fun ways to sort of manipulate the game. Can you still do that in the remake? Oh, so excited. So excited. Yeah, you can definitely expect a 100% walkthrough of that game from me on this channel. Okay, great. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> Till next time, Austin John out. I, I, I'm just, just ear to ear shit eating grin.